What's going on, Germs 1975 MRE? I'm back with another review. I've got uh, menu number 22, chicken and dumplings here for you. Um, I had some extra time this weekend, so I figured, what the hell? Why not? Why not just do another one? I'm hungry, haven't eaten all day, so let's get this going. So this uh, MRE has a date code on it. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the... 229th day of uh it's got to be either 2000 1999 2009 or 2019 i looked up the menus for those years and menu 22 for 1999 was pork chow mein and for 2019 it was beef goulash so this has to be 2009 uh so yeah we're gonna crack this thing open and see what we got That really didn't uh, tear as good as I thought it would have with that tear notch. It really does not want to tear. I probably should have just used my knife. So, all right. We've got our chicken and dumplings. We have a creamsicle cookie that is crushed. Grape jelly. Oh, nice. M&M's. Chunky peanut butter. We've got beverage base powder, lemon lime, our MRE spoon, hot beverage bag, which we will not be using, flameless ration heater, our accessory packet, and wheat snack bread. Okay, so let's get that all laid out and I'll be right back. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, uh, before I open that accessory packet, I want to get this uh, flameless ration heater going. I, I actually have only had two of these, and I've not had much luck with these, but they've been a lot older, I think. So, so there's our flameless ration heater. Let's get our chicken and dumplings out. Okay, looks pretty good, feels pretty good, no delamination, so that should be good. Okay, so we got to tear this right there, and I know the one thing you're not supposed to do is overfill. Um, well, let's get our, let's get our main in there. And we are going to try not to spill everything all over the place. That looks pretty good. Looks like I didn't overfill it. All right, I think it's actually working. Look at that. That's awesome. That's my first, first time ever having a ration heater that actually works. So that's really cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to attempt to stick it back in this uh, that cardboard pouch. And then need something to lean it against. Some home canned salsa. Let's just lean that right like that. Perfect. All right, so now that that's going, um, let's get our accessory packet opened up real quick. Got our taster's choice, creamer, non-dairy dry, iodized salt, the Tabasco, the little Tabasco, I just love that. Sugar, lighthouse bung fluff, moist towelette, army matches, 
and our chewing gum. And again, I swear every review I drop them on the floor. I really don't care because I'm probably not even going to mess with those. It's just gum. Come on. All right, so let's get this uh, let's get this coffee going. Looks great. Smells great. Looks great. Like it nice and strong. And let's put some cream in there because this this creamer is going to be good. All right, that's pretty darn hot. So while that cools just a bit, let's get our lemon lime flavored no fruit juice. And we are to put half a canteen cup, don't have a canteen cup, 12 ounces of water. Whoop, almost, almost did it. And we've got 12 ounces. It's kind of almost blue streaks on the top. I don't know if you can see that. All right. Cool. All right, let's try out this coffee. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Yeah, that's great. I I I really enjoy Taster's Choice. Uh, these little these little packets. I mean, I I buy them and I actually use them every once in a while. Now, yeah, that's great. All right, let's check out this ration heater. And it's not super hot. But it's working. It's working good enough. Okay. Let's get our wheat snack bread open. And look at that. Looks really good. And it smells kind of off. Smells a little off. I don't know. It, it's it's uh, it's got that molasses type smell to it, so that could that could be all it is. But let's try a bite. Tastes just fine. Tastes just fine. Let's get some of that peanut butter. Out. Well, ah, it's chunky. It's got nuts in it. That's why. A little bit bigger hole. Which is fine. I like, I like chunky peanut butter. It's all right. I prefer creamy, but I can handle the chunky with the peanuts in it. That's fine. And I did give this a little taste, and it is spectacular. Just perfect. All right, let's get some jelly. Whoops. It's grape jelly and. Look at that. I should have kneaded it first. Big mistake. Oh well. All right, let's go for it. 
That bread is super dry. But the jelly, the jelly's fantastic. It's really good. This, uh, I really like this chunky peanut butter. It's got that nice crunch to it, which is nice with uh, that jelly is nice and sweet. So you got the salty, you got the sweet. I mean, it's peanut butter and jelly, what you expect. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'd be real happy with that. Yeah, the bread's a little dry. Oh, I mean, it from 2009. What do you expect? Well, I think I'm going to let that kind of sit in that jelly. I'm going to get every bit of this peanut butter out. That's fantastic. Something about the MRE peanut butter. It just, it's so good. All right. Need a drink of our, uh, this looks like Ecto Cooler. If any of you uh, folks from the 80s out there probably know exactly what I'm talking about. That's really good. Actually, not nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought I thought it would be really really sweet and maybe maybe it's because it hasn't completely dissolved, I don't know. But no, I mean it that's a really good uh that's a really good drink. I don't have any complaints with that. I don't, you know, I don't like real sugary drinks. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's uh, get another big bite of this. That was fantastic. That bread smelled a little off to me at first, but I just think it just has that, because it's shelf stable, it has some sort of weird smell. Let's get this, uh, let's get this main out. I think it's done. Oh, it feels plenty hot enough. Yeah, that ra that flameless ration heater is plenty hot enough. And this feels feels just fine. Yeah, that is plenty hot enough. Give this a give this a smell. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells like chicken pot pie. That's what it smells like. Chicken pot pie. And it smells like a it really kind of smells like a homemade chicken pot pie. got uh, chicken peas looks like some carrots definitely need some salt Not all of it. 
and of course our Tabasco. And this one is uh, looks like it's got a clogged artery, just like the last one I had, but we'll just clear that plug. Mm, there we go. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, that is nice. That is a, that's going to give it a nice extra kick. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. That's all helped. The chicken is super tender. Really tender. And that, that sauce, that nice, creamy, it's got a creamy, buttery, chicken, chicken stock flavor. Very, very good texture. You can see it's thicker. It's not runny, which is really nice. And that Tabasco sauce gives it kind of a vinegary, hot, chili pepper kick. Yeah, that's fantastic. The only thing I will have to say, I'm not seeing any dumplings. Is that a dumpling? Maybe? Yeah, that's what that was. That was a dumpling. Not much of a dumpling in there, but heck, I wouldn't complain. This is really good. What would be really good there's some crackers with this. That would be good. Well, that was really good. Let's check out uh, the creamsicle cookie. Oh, they're little cookies. That's why it felt like they were crushed. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's really inter interesting. I don't think I've ever had a creamsicle cookie. There's like little orange chips in it. And it tastes like an orange creamsicle. Sugar cookie with orange creamsicle. Never had anything like it. And it's really good. Yeah, those are really good. But what I think would be really good, let's open these M&Ms. So let's do this. Let's get about four or five M&Ms with our creamsicle cookie. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. That is the way to go. That's that's exactly the way to eat this. Just make a few uh, perfect bites. Now you've got a chocolate chip creamsicle cookie. Yeah, that's fantastic. Those M and M's are perfect. It's like uh, it's like I just bought them yesterday at the store. And these cookies are super crunchy, uh, not stale at all. Fantastic. I think what's going to send this off to another planet, though, is 
We're going to eat a perfect bite. Take a drink of our coffee. Oh my God. That. Wow, that is. I got to do one more. And then I got to be done. I'm getting full. Take the perfect bite of cookie and, and uh, M&M's. As you're chewing it, take a swig of coffee. And mix that all in your mouth. Wow. You've got that sugar cookie. The sweet sugar cookie with the orange, the creamsicle chunks. Then you got the chocolate. And then it's like it's it's like now you're making some sort of some sort of crazy cappuccino in your mouth when you drink this uh coffee with it. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Well, there you have it. That was menu number 22, chicken and dumplings from 2009. That was a that was a good ration. I would have been totally happy with that. Um back in the uh back in 2009 or back when they made this one. I'd have been happy to get this one. That was really good. The the main was great. The peanut butter and jelly was great. That combination of the M&M's creamsicle cookie and the coffee fantastic not gonna bother with uh with any of this stuff um the, the toilet paper the sugar the matches the towelette everybody knows what that's all about so so this is germs 1975 MRE uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I will be doing more here uh soon and uh if you would give me a like subscribe to my channel and I will be back with another review